Okay, uh, step two. Um, the last uh, couple of videos have been the first stage, uh, making the spark gap um, to try and um, yeah stimulate its own power uh, and give us extra on the output. So this will be after stage one. This will be the next uh, stage two. Uh, basically, in this, um, I'm using. Uh, 16 volt DC ZVS uh, driver, it's a thousand watts uh, through a primary to a secondary. Uh, one side's going through to the earth, um, the other side's connecting with this uh, copper rod through the center. Yeah, if you can see, um, so yeah, basically, all we're doing is uh, we just have a cable from there going through to a TV yoke, normal winding, and then out through the grenade. I have the uh, digital multimeter on this coil here. Um, that's a bifiler over the other uh, grenade coil. The other grenade windings uh, in this end and out this way through a uh, strip light and uh, as we've seen before, um, the amperage is uh, lower without the earth connection. Um, so I put the spark gap back on and uh, a diode coming out, uh, running back in. Um, and again, the earth cable, if it will hold. Uh, what I have noticed is uh, there was an increase in um, voltage in AC voltage uh, after this. So if we had stage one to control stage two and there's a extra voltage, uh, more capacitance or whatever is happening, uh, then we'll go to stage three to try and loop it. Um, basically a child drawing. If you uh, look on that, we have the 16 volt ZVS into the Tesla style uh, setup, copper rod, TV yoke. There's no light working here for some reason, I don't know. Maybe the voltage is too high um, or something else. So this is the normal grenade winding. On top of that, I have the digital multimeter uh, controlling the AC there. And again, uh, spark gap. Uh, yeah, there is no diode on there. So. What I want you to do, we'll turn it on. And you can see the light is not so bright. We have a voltage of 11.21 and we will... So the spark is now increasing. I believe it's actually welding. And of course, uh, you see it's pretty hot. Try again. Um, we're in as normal. See, not a lot of uh, AC there. Light's not that bright. Then when we, so we have the spark, and we have increasing. As you can see, until we burn that out, of course. So. With a better spark gap, um, and the next stage will be to take uh, something from this bifiler, um, where you've seen the AC coming out at thirteen hundred at one point. Um, so interesting. Uh, please leave your comments. Um, 
people that are replicating this and uh, maybe we can come together and get something uh, that actually works instead of playing around with these uh, for year after year. Thanks for watching and uh, peace be with you brothers. <laughs> Take it easy.